Uh, welcome, guys. I'm Don Kuvnay. I'm the offensive line coach here at Keystone College um, in Laquan, Pennsylvania. We're going into our second year on the field in program history this coming fall. Um, very exciting times. We've got great leadership, a great school, and we're really, uh, really looking forward to getting on the field for our first uh, full 10-game schedule coming up. Um, I'm going to talk to you really about our gap scheme, Indy. Um, I really like to break up our end work between zone, pass, and gap scheme. Um, mainly because some weeks we're going to be more gap scheme, some weeks we're going to be more zone. Breaking it up for the kids and even putting it on the practice plan like that is really important. The bread and butter of gap scheme, in my opinion, is the down block. Now, again, I will always revert back to nice, simple drills. Um, I actually get two or four lines of guys and we'll work on down blocks against different, against a, a stationary target. And then we'll move into different movements based on, again, what our um, opponent does with their, their down line in there. Um, we're gonna, first step, we're gonna take that winning angle. Um, Try to aim towards that uh, backside shoulder. Our second step is also going to bring our hand. We're going to close what I call close the door, close your hips. We're going to throw that backside hand up into their shoulder pad or any real area that we can get there. Take that second hand and place it on their chest or on their hip, and we're just going to keep a nice wide base and just drive them down. Now we want to get real downhill movement on these. Um, our guys really love doing this drill, um, especially when we cross over with the defense. They really like teeing off on the guys. Um, we get really fired up for down block drill. Um, and in my opinion, there's so many different poles. There's this, that skip pole, the skip shuffle, like the flat pole. The down block is really the only thing that stays consistent. You just, one guy's always got a down block. And this is something that we'll drill. We spend the majority of the time doing in our gap scheme drill work because I think, again, it's the most important part of a gaps, a gap scheme play. Um, next thing we're going to work on is our gap double teams. Um, gap to, double teams again, they're huge. Um, we still will use the, um, elbow to elbow, knee to knee, hip to hip. Um, but for us, we, we also know that the angles are a little different. Like we're doubling back usually. So we're going to sometimes use a flipper, sometimes use our hook, sometimes use a gallop technique, just depending on the defensive guy's alignment. And um, it sounds like a lot going in. They, oh, you have three different types of double. It really is kind of seamless for the guys once you drill it enough. Um, it just becomes muscle memory form. But the big thing with this is keeping your keeping the the two points of con two out of three contact, keeping your eyes on where you need to go. Look, if you guys are engaged in a double team, you don't need to look at the down line at anyone. His time's over. We're moving him to the linebacker and communicating who's coming off and who's taking over. Uh, me, 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 you, you, you calls. Look, it'd be awesome if we could just take every D lineman and put them in the laps of the linebacker. We just know that's not how it goes. Um, variations for this drill, we'll just send that nose guard or the guy wherever. We'll send the linebacker, we'll put them in different areas based on who we're playing that week, what linebacker or the linebacker aligns. We'll send them under the double team, over the double team. Sometimes we'll just sit them there. Sometimes we'll just drop them back. Sometimes we'll leave the linebacker there. Um, sometimes we'll even switch, bring a linebacker down. Dropping a linebacker back and inserting what would be like a safety there. Um, just pretty much all depends on uh, what we're going to see that week. Then we're going to work on our pulls. Um, flat pulls is the one that most kids have already done. Um, I think it's the most aggressive pull. The guys actually enjoy drilling the flat pull. So we're going to open up with the lead foot, bring the second step, close the door, 
we're going to nav I always say navigate down to the defender. Now, ideally, we can flipper insert inside out and then transition that flipper into our hook fit and keep drive. But we also have if the person we're trying to kick out squeezes, we can basically seal them in, just kind of take them where he wants to go and shove them in to the basically the riff or after the play. Um, but the variation for this drill is that guy squeezing down, that guy going upfield, that guy stand and trying to wrong arm the flat pole. It's, again, it's a very simple drill. There's a couple variations we can do. Um, again, the premise of the variations are going to be on what the team we're playing that week does predominantly. Skip pole drill. Um, I usually never have two guys going at once. I have both lined up like this. Um, but I really want to see their technique of pushing off that inside foot, um, keeping their shoulders square, sometimes getting an extra shuffle in there before we insert. Um, if it's a power skip pull or a pin and pull one, so we're either going to go inside out or outside in, the depth of the pull. So all those things, again, we spend the time on Sundays and during the week really scheming so we can um, put the guys in the best uh, position to succeed. One thing out of the presentations I've done here are we scheme our indie drills. We also scheme our splits and everything else. So we want to put these, we want these guys drilling not only the technique, but the technique and how we're going to use it this week. So if we're going to have a big pin and pull week and pin and pulls just looks good. We're going to do a lot more of the pin and pull skips, skip pulls, than power skip pulls. And a lot of a different kind of insert. So we want to just keep that schemed but fluid motion within our drills. Skip pull drill, um, nice and simple, but able to uh, vary based on who we're playing. Um, fold block or grilled cheese is a term I got from uh, Heidelberg. Um, this is just that quick, we've got the down block and the skip pull all together. Big thing is here, we can, again, scheme it to where we want. Full block, a lot of the times we'll drill this with our pin and pull depth, pin and pull depth and aiming points. Um, and this is one that we also do cross over with the defense with because they, Coach Colvin and I work really closely together. We think that we can really um, benefit our guys from getting live looks on both sides. Um, and then the last part of every gap scheme play is a gap steal. Like we spend a lot of, our tackles spend a lot of time on the gap steal. So when we're doing fold blocks, our tackles are also doing gap steals at the same time. Um, it's really important for us to be able to protect that backside B gap. Um, we take almost a power step down or a jump set power set into the B gap to cut off anything that may come. If nothing comes out, we're going to do that old swinging gate, kind of bring that back foot back with our arm quickly to then seal off any edge pressure. Um, we also, every person on the offensive line plays every position during camp. So every player, depending on even from top to bottom, tackle to center, left to right, everybody learns how to gap seal. Naturally, everyone learns how to pull because of, you know, the old red skin counters and stuff like that. But every single person on the offensive line learns how to gap seal. And we take a lot of pride in that gap seal. Um, and it's just a really great drill for us. Um, variations to this one, we do a lot of defensive movement with it. We do a lot of... We have a package in our defense that we have one D lineman in 
So we have two outside linebackers out there doing crazy things. So we do gap seals against that kind of a look. So there should be no question when we gap seal, no matter what the defense throws at us, we're going to be able to protect that backside B and overflow defender. Again, guys, thank you. Um, quick one with the gap scheme. Um, Again, if you need anything from me, uh, my email is down at the bottom of the screen. Shoot me an email, message me on Twitter. Um, I really do enjoy talking football with everybody, trading handbooks and drills and stuff like that. You can only get better in the off season. If you just want to talk ball, reach out, whatever, feel free to reach out. If you want to talk about Keystone College football, I can talk about it all day. Um, I really do appreciate you taking the time, and thank you guys.